Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Bar Talk, and we had some setting up to do, and so we're starting a bit late. But I hope you took the time to just listen, because this evening we're going to make it a little bit spicy. Nothing about politics, nothing about any other stuff we're talking about. We're going to exercise. Today's topic is bring your sexy back. Uh, get the form, the feel, and function for Thanksgiving. Form, feel, and function. So many... Oh, wrong words. That goes to that word. Um, we'll talk more about this right after this introduction. Welcome, folks. Get your sexy back, like we said. It's the topic of today's um, show. And we have a wonderful group of people. Some are regulars on the show. We have one lady who says she don't talk. But we're going to make her talk somehow, some way. Um, listen, let's do the form get rid of the formalities. First of all, uh, Bar Talk is brought to you by Moment to Remember Studio, your one-stop for all things photo, video, print. If you have a Password picture or your next major event, give us a call. I've always said, don't talk to us about money. Talk to about your dreams and your aspiration. And then we'll talk to you what it takes to make them a reality. Okay? Also, this show is brought to you by Jamaicans.com, the number one platform for all things Jamaica, the Caribbean, and to the world. And as you know, if you're watching, we have people who are... Uh, looking at this show, um, all the shows on Jamaicans.com from all over the world. We have Ghana, Japan, we have China, we have, and of course, here, Fort Lauderdale uh, and the, the, the tri-state area that's watching us. Welcome to Bar Talk. Do yourself a favor. Understand that we want you to tell us where you're coming in from. Say hi, say hello. So just text us in the text and say, hey, listen, this is... Tom Jones, he's calling from anywhere. And this topic may be a little bit controversial. And may, if it's not, we're going to be talking about some things that you want to hear. So invite a friend to come and enjoy what is going on this evening. I'm excited, and I hope you are too. As you know, this show is not done by me, you're by yours truly alone, but is brought to us uh, with a crew that we have here. It's the... Uh, Moment to Remember crew, and we have uh, Kevin Stu. Uh, Kevin Stu from Kevin Stu on the Night Shift, and Kevin Stu, um, DJ, presenter, um, MC, you name it, he is it. If you need an MC, a DJ, or anything, just simply um, give him a call. Um, all you have to do is tap that speaker. Do me a favor, Kevin, just tap that speaker. Just tap it, tap it. Give it a tap. Give it a tap. That's all. Oh. A tap. A serious tap. Oh That's it. Uh, I, I'm sorry, folks. This is what happened. We have a speaker that seemed to whatever the deal is. This is what happens on a live show sometime. And we, we have Kevin, two um, uh, sons in, in the house, Nat and Q. Q. Nat and Q in the house helping out on cameras. So... We're trying to let them know that we have some, some, some equipment here that needs personalized attention, put it that way. Anyway, um, back to our guests. Like I said, we have Kevin Stewart and we have PJ, who is doing all of the switching and the things so forth. And we have Nat and Q who are helping us on cameras today because we're going to do some movement and we're going to talk to you about some stuff that going to help your life mentally, physically, spiritually, and back to physically. All right. Anyway, let me quickly introduce my guests. Uh, first and foremost, let me start right there with a young lady that actually let me start with Juliet, who will introduce. She's no stranger to the program. My sister, Nora, for donkey years. Introduce yourself and introduce you. Well, don't you'll introduce your other guests and then we'll come back to Mr. Jimmy Buffett. Or Jimmy. <laughs> 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 Go ahead. I'm Juliet Peterkin. I'm actually a certified professional trainer, and I'm happy to say that I'm proudly 50 years old and I've lost 132 pounds, mm -hmm. naturally. So um, I want to introduce also 
my guest, my special guest, Akina, who uh, we've been work or buddies or partners for a, a while um, at the gym that we attend. And uh, Akina? Akina doesn't want to say much. And of course, let's turn it back over to Mr. Man himself, Mr. Jimmy Hepburn, who will give you all you need to know about himself. Hey, well, I'm, I'm Jimmy, Jimmy Hepburn, uh, and I've known Juliet for uh, about three years now. And uh, she's been my personal coach, my trainer. So uh, I'm very excited, very excited to be here. And uh, thank you so much for inviting me. That's it? Yeah. <laughs> okay, all right. Hey, listen. Folks, um, as soon as I put up this, put up, put, uh, I put up this topic, uh, bring your sexy back. One of our wonderful people who always watch the show, she calls in and she says, well, you know, there are some health benefits to you guys don't seem to be focusing on. And so I had to remind her, it says, get your form, your feeling, and function before Thanksgiving. And essentially, we talked about the fact that, you know, most people try to get their, 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 their wonderful beach body back for uh, the summer. But the summer is gone, and we can't live our lives for the summer. But Thanksgiving is, is coming up. How nice would it be for you to show up, especially your in-law house looking fine? <laughs> you know? So that's one of the things we're talking. Get your, your feel, your form, and function. And that seems to be three Fs. I will leave it at that. Um, for whatever you take that to be. But no, it has to do with form in terms of the, your, how you look, um, your, 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 your feel, how you feel about yourself, and how you function. And that's some of the things we'll be talking about. How you function on the job, how you function at church, um, how you function at home, and yeah, maybe how you function in the bedroom. Form, feel, and function. Um, but let me just start off, like, rather than chatting, chatting, let me just put it to, 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 to Juliet, uh, first of all. And as a certified fitness um, trainer, um, what have you seen out there among people who you have resurrected, literally? Well, I've found that they have more agility. You know, they actually, when they lose weight, you know, they, they can, uh, they have more stamina in terms of uh, how they perform workout-wise. Bedroom-wise, I can't speak, but I can tell you that they're more, they, they, they're, they feel more at ease with themselves and they move quicker or more qu quickly than they were before. So weight has a lot to do with how you feel heavy, uh, heavy down and, and weighted down. You know, when you lose weight, of course you have more agility and you move quickly, quicker. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. Jimmy, your thoughts? I totally agree. Totally agree. I'm approaching 50s and I feel like I'm 20 years old and if it wasn't for working out, if it wasn't for, you know, keeping up with the Jones and stamina and all that good stuff, yeah, I wouldn't be feeling the way I feel. So I totally agree, you know, working out definitely helps, especially when we get to this, this, this age range, you know, we want our, our 40s to feel like the 20s, it's, it's imperative, it's necessary. So um, I'm backing her up on that one. Well, hey, listen. Uh, we're talking about 40s, 50s, 60s. I see some young people, and if you remember through COVID, there are so many young people. But first of all, people said that, no, it couldn't, uh, COVID uh, don't affect young people. And then we realized it affects young people. And we also realized that it affects the most young people who are very inactive. Yeah. And so, in addition to that, um, when I talk about fall female function, um, I can tell you personally that when I... Um, don't exercise. First of all, let me tell everybody, I am a, um, I would consider myself a, a work in progress. Uh, as Steve Harvest would say, God ain't through with me yet. <laughs> he definitely ain't through with me yet. And there are some things even in my own business and in my own life that I need to get where I feel comfortable with it. But, you know, living my best life, like the, my, my thing says. But what I do notice is that even when I do my work, mm -hmm. If I am not, if, if, if I'm, I've not exercised, if I've not done any physical thing, and I don't, and sometimes I tell myself, here's a trick. I tell myself I carry camera bags, right, Kevin? Mm -hmm. Carry cam camera bags, I carry this, I carry that, so I should be fine. I like a workout. I like a workout. <laughs> no, it's sometimes workout in the wrong direction because <laughs> it damages your back, it does all kind of <laughs> things. 
Um, and we have to understand that some, that some of those things have lasting uh, negative impressions on us. So, sure. um, Kevin, you have any thoughts on that? Hey, a little bit of everything goes a long way. You know? So if you get in even a little bit from carrying the camera bags, you know, it helps a little bit, but it's not enough. You, you, uh, you actually have to, you have, to have to put in the work. Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, and so um, I know mentally I operate better. Uh, physically, I feel I walk with a strut and I do things better. Um, but my next door neighbor, the, the, and, and I don't know if Jimmy or anybody want to touch this. One of our guests is not Mike, so I can't bring her on, um, on that. But um, my next door neighbor, who's a chiropractor, says to me that if the, ma the, the muscles in a, le a man's uh, legs, that if they are not toned and flexible, it, it affects his, to be nice, his reproductive organs, okay? <laughs> It, 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 it affects him in terms of length and stamina and everything. And she says when she exercises, even men who say that they got, um, for the water they show, ED issues, a good massage, and part of it is where the massage guys are realize the guys are tight in certain areas, and therefore it affects the overall motion of the body. So it's, it's like a fancy car. The best gas alone can make the car run. The best engine alone without a decent transmission can make it run. And if you have transmission, everything, so forth, uh, if you ain't got no wheels, you're going nowhere. So it's a, it, you have to have everything in balance. And exercise is that little salt in my mind that makes the balance. Definitely. I, you know, go ahead. I agree. I agree. Juliet, your thoughts? I, I, I agree. A friend of mine, um, he works out. He's a workout buff, um, and he doesn't miss a day. He's been feeling lethargic, you know, still pushing and working out and all that. And he went to the doctor and t checked his testosterone levels. They were very, very low. Mm -hmm. So it has a lot to do with certain exercises. You can be lifting heavy, but you're messing up yourself at the same time. Mm -hmm. You know, so it, it plays a big role with how you work out and, you know, in terms of, you know, doing too much. You can do too much, you can do too little, and you still mess up yourself. So balance is always good, as, as Kevin say. A little of everything. But um, in his case, his testo testosterone levels were very low, and it was messing him up. Got you, got you. So question to you right now. Um, we talk about people who are reaching a certain age, and we ever, uh, Jimmy keep talking about him approaching his age. <laughs> um, you just say, probably uh, announcing you are 50 and feeling fine, 50 yes. and fine and fabulous, <laughs> yes. form, feel, and function, <laughs> all of those. Uh, question is... Um, for those people who are sitting at home and think, say, boy, it's too lethargic, it's gone too bad for them to start exercise. Um, I know you've brought, um, what's her name again? Akina. Huh? Akina. Akina. Or Athena. Akina? Akina. Akina. She did speak. <laughs> Akina here. And you guys and Jimmy going to exercise, you're going to show us some exercise. A little bit to start with for the people over uh, I would say, to be nice, over 45. What would you suggest for the people over 45? What is it that they have to bear in mind? The first thing I'll say is bear in mind, um, you know, uh, how your joints feel. And to loosen up your joints, I would suggest that you stretch first before you dive into any um, um, workout. You know, know your body, check with your doctor before you even dive in. But there are moves that you can do instead of sitting still. You can do certain moves. You can walk, do certain stuff that, you know, just to start off yourself, give yourself a couple of days walking or, or jogging or whatever, and then you go straight into literal workout. Because when we get to a certain age, of course, you know, our hormonal changes and all that, the muscles... Now, uh, you only just walk to exercise with a machete. I know, but that's a job. <laughs> <change. laughs> you know, our muscles, you know, we get depleted and so on. So we have to um, help ourselves in terms of building the muscle and maintaining the muscle strength. Um, and as you say, if it, is it too late? No, you can start now. You know, if you think that you're a little heavyweight, 
um, I would suggest that you start. Start walking and take and ease into it. Don't go killing yourself first. And then you, that is just the biggest thing to demotivate you because you're going to feel uh, some sort of pain and then you're going to think that it's not for you. But I would suggest that you ease yourself into workout first of all before you dive into the heavier stuff. I glad, I'm glad that you said that because the next question I want to ask you, uh, there's the university called Google. <laughs> and everybody who wants to get exercise and everybody want to go just jump on there. There are a million and one um, coach trainers. There are a million and one, um, what they call them, programs for exercise. What would you say to people about jumping into that kind of thing and grab, pull it, print it, you know, downloading and printing our program and start working? I, I, I'm kind of a curious because I, I've heard that people got, have gotten injured from just following things. And I heard you said something about knowing your body. How would that work for them? What would be your suggestion? The first thing I'll say is to make sure that your diet is up to par because you can download the, the, best, <laughs> the best workout around town and your diet is crap, then you're going to get crap results, hard to say. So uh, honestly, you got to make sure that you, you change your diet first, ease in slowly into the workout before you go into any big downloading and starting any strenuous exercises. Sure, there are simpler uh, moves that you can uh, move to and do, but you need to make sure that your diet is up to par as well. So that's the first thing, your diet. The second thing is a workout. Uh, here, here's, here's my issue. Um, there was a time, and I, and I heard a comedian on Comedic Roundup was talking about it, that there was a, um, a program, P90, that was on the radio. And it, I don't think uh, on the TV or what have you or what have, and it acts. And there's another guy by, uh, what's his name? Um, that that came out with some program. And most people bought the DVD back in the days. They bought the CDs. They 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 went online and downloaded the programs. And for many people, like you said, it just didn't work for them because some of the program was actually one of the comedians says, "Hey, listen, you know something." Um, the before for some of the people, he said he would have a happy being that before much more <laughs> what these programs try to do to these people. So um, your instruction, therefore, is not only know your body, but uh, how, would you, how would you select a plan of action? The plan of action to select, first of all, is um, not too much any, anything that is for somebody who's advanced. So you start with, with, with lighter weight stuff, like um, some, especially when it comes down to our age, you know, aerobics. You know, you can start with that and then you do light training, not the big heavy lifting. Like, I know that program that you're referring to, mm -hmm. the P95 or something, 45 something, or something, something like that. Something, something, something. Yes, and that's a, li a, that's a much, that's a lot of work, because I personally wouldn't even necessarily do that. You it's wouldn't do that? No, it's, it's too much. It is no wonder that there are some people who found themselves in a situation. But actually, they, they were sued by, by, by uh, a few people. A few people tried to sue them because of what they thought was just horrendous exercise practices. Yes, because that type of a thing, you actually need um, personalized coaching. You need somebody to be on spot with you when you're doing some of those moves. So I would suggest that you go easy. You start with the lighter weight stuff, you know, start at home, you know, pick up a five pound dumbbell and start moving around, you know, there are other... Uh... Well, come on, Jimmy, Jimmy, talk, talk to me. me. <laughs> there, 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 there's, there's a macho guy like you, Jimmy, and she's telling you uh, there's Arnold and there's all these people. Why are we doing a five pound uh, dumbbell? I think she's talking for the ladies as far as the five pound dumbbell. Uh, I, I, yes, but I mean, not, not to be totally true, because here what happened. I... <laughs> just a kind of vegetables. I, 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 there you I, go. I have tried... <laughs> I've got, tried to go back in the gym recently, and I hate to admit it, just like I know I don't longer sing no more. I was, as you know, I was a solace in my choir at church, and I used to, in my 20s and early 30s, 30s, I used to do bodybuilding at National Health Student in Jamaica. I look nothing like it. The other day I went into the gym and I put on two, uh, 25 and a bar and I lift it <laughs> off, try to make a step back, 
made two steps forward, <laughs> put him back on the rack, <laughs> and that was a wrap. <laughs> because the, 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 the point I'm making, Jimmy, is that the, sometimes the expectations what we have of yes. ourselves, even as men, yeah. and so we don't want to go back humble <laughs> and try. So now I bought me an e-bike for my birthday. My birthday was the fourth, and I'm now riding it at different r range that I can go, and I'm riding places I ride to Anson Park, and I go play basketball, and I do a little bit of exercise, and they, I, 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 I'm humbled by the fact that as we age, so much goes awry. And we have to literally um, start afresh. Yes, yeah. but you, you literally ease yourself in because you realize now that that was too much. What you could do at 30, 35, don't even bother trying now because you're doing more harm to yourself than good. Understanding that in my day, two of those on each side, I would give you about four or four with, 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 with assists. I do four or four bench press. Now I'm putting on one on each side and trying to go do a squat. And when I step back from the bar, the knees just. <laughs> <laughs> so here, hey, listen, with that said, we're going to start. We get um, um, a little bit of uh, some collagen. Collagen, I guess so, or a hip transplant. And, no, God forbid, let's leave that one alone. But we're going to do some exercise. Um, I have, have, have we checked the, 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 the chat? Is there anybody on the chat? Nobody did? Hmm? Mac oh, Maxine is there on the chat. Did she say anything at all? Yeah. Hi, Mac Maxine, we talk about you all the time, but you know we love you, all right? Oh, sure, so we can see you some simple warm-up routines. Hi, right, Maxine, oh, wow. we're going to give you that right now, all right? All up to you guys. You guys can, you can go ahead. Um, okay, so, so uh, basically, she wants, you want us to do it right now, do the workout? Yes, yeah, start on a okay. simple warm-up exercise. What are we going to do? We, we, gotta, we can't really do it right now. We're going to just do some basic stretches. Mm -hmm. And the, White cameras? The, white cameras? Right here, okay. So the first thing we can do is just basically start with some jumping jacks. You can start with 50. And if you, if you think that your knees are going to hurt, you can do the modified. Still get some move going in. To me, to me, to me, that, that, to, to me that I'm modeling. The modified <laughs> jumping jacks. <laughs> but for some people, who it might be a little bit too much. You know, jumping jacks. Yeah, right, Jimmy. And then you're going to... Yep, <laughs> approaching 50. <laughs> <laughs> and then basically, after you warm yourself up doing that, you need to stretch your muscles. And stretching is very, very, very important in terms of how you uh, move. Otherwise, you hurt yourself. You'll feel more pain than anything, and then you're going to get discouraged and not want to work out again. So a couple of stretches that we could do, basic stretches are... Like stretching your toes, uh, touching your toes. In this movie, you're stretching and your... And so for people who can't touch their toes like me, what do you recommend? As close to the toes as in, you can. In the general vicinity. <laughs> <laughs> as close as you can because you're trying to stretch the back of the legs. Mm -hmm. So you're stretching as far as you can, touching the toes. The wider you go, the better, of course. But then we're starting, we're starting modestly. If you can't go all the way down, you can stretch back and you still push your bottom half back and stretch. You're stretching the calf muscles and the back of your legs. Then a couple other moves we can do, stretching the front as well. You know, you can hold it as long as you can, but we're starting easy. So you just stretch and release. Stretch, release, stretch, release. And then other no, move to... Let me ask a question. Is there any modification to some of them things? Because some people can't get them foot off of the... Well, this is modified because you, you, you really yeah, you, want to And stand. you figure that there's, somebody, that there's some people out there who are able to 
catch their feet with one foot, <laughs> with one foot up. I'm with just being real, and I'm talking to the I, people. I, I wish, we, I wish um, Paula was at least, uh, you know, try, yeah, they can use the wall and, and, and brace yourself and, and, and hold up. As you say, some people may not necessarily be able to hold on to the leg itself, but try. I, I have a client that, I'm telling you, the first two workouts. Hold the table. It was really something. It was a, it was something. Some people else. can't bring up the leg that far. Yes, but she, and that's the truth. She and that's it. She, she she can now. You know, she may not hold it as long as you know, but she's 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 made great improvements. You know, so mm -hmm. it might be a little heavy, but it is doable. You know, mm. um, another one too. You know, the same thing. Not many people can hold the leg like this, but you try your best because with her. She used her two hands and tried to balance herself. And as Akina said, use a wall. You know, use a wall to hold yourself up and stretch. There are certain, you can do it. You know, so not, being heavier is not the excuse to not do it. You got to make a start somewhere. For, for, for many of us who have back problems, how, yes. do, we, we, how do we start as a, a warm-up exercise the, without the, damaging that back. That back now, you can stretch it. The same, the same move here, it stretches everything. You can stretch so much doing this if you can't touch the toes. And then another thing too, you can turn. You can rotate your, your, your upper half. So let me ask you, in order to complete this exercise, this, 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 this section here, uh, give, for example, Maxine uh, a, like a... a, a a three exercise routine that you could start with, that they could walk away from this program right now and start with. Okay, the in, first. In, in succession, just straight out. Okay. And the, the next time I'll be back at the desk. Okay, mm. the first thing, um, I always like to do full body moves, and no matter what size it is, you can always do it. The basic push up, because it works every, the entire muscle, literally, we can do it from our knees. If you have knee issue, you know, use a knee pad and, and literally do it. You can do, you can, Akina will do the, um, the regular, but the modified would be like, would, would look something like this. You're just pushing your upper body down and up. Down and up. We're doing seven, three. Would you go four. straight into that from just starting fresh? You can because it is modified. Okay, got you. Two more. One more. And done. The next move I can suggest is a wall sit. This now for those people with knee issues like myself. I couldn't bend, I couldn't lunge, I couldn't do any of those things. And one of the ways that strengthen my knee, the, the muscle in my knee or around my knee, is wall sits. So you can go as low as you can. As low as you can. The lower the better. But if you have knee issues, make sure your back is straight and you go all the way down. Now, when you do this move, your core is stabilized. You're trying to contract your abs. And you go all the way down. Now, when you do this move, <laughs> your core is stabilized. Okay, and we, you, you can hold this for a beginner, 15 seconds, then you graduate to 30 seconds. Almost like an invisible chair. Yes, it's almost like an invisible chair for someone who, let's say you, 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 um, you can do it without the wall sit, but, but we just, we're just focusing on people who are just starting out, may have knee issues and certain joint pains. Okay, this is a while now. Okay, we can stop. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. That's the, that's the warm up? <laughs> that's <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yes, it you, Okay, you so no, 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 guys, stay, stay, stay right there because I'm going to, folks, if you can't hear me, I'm behind the scene watching them. <laughs> here are some, here, they just can't see. you just can't see me because it's not about me. I just want to say, stay right there, folks. You guys are looking good, too. Um, Red Fox says, hey, hey, um, Red Fox says, from Sunrise, Florida, um, Melanie Hankey says, thumbs up, Maxine <laughs> says, can't wait to see some other warm-up exercises. Of course, back to come again. <laughs> I know some people who benefit from this TV-based exercise program. I know you're one of them, Maxine. <laughs> um, but people need to be careful, and I so much agree with Maxine. Uh, Maxine says, Luke, the programs are involved. Yes. Um, as evolved, rather. Um, 
Maxine says we are what we eat. We need to take more. Yes. Oh, she could be a coach trainer herself. Yes, yes. yes. Maxine says, um, and so I'm going through um, holistic approach. Paula Chambers. Hey, we do need, uh, do we need to stretch after we walk? That's a good question. Absolutely. You stretch before you stretch after. Very Why important. stretch after? You're already loose. You and no. that's a good question for me. You're if stretching you're because you're mu after walking, remember, your muscles, you, you work the muscles and they will get tight. So they'll contract. So you want to stretch them out so you, you, you loosen them up and you don't feel as much pain as you would when you don't stretch. <laughs> and of course, Red Fox says it's recommended, Paulette. Yes. And so <laughs> that's one. Let me go down the line again, Sue, so what, what's, what's there? Um, Red Fox says, I will definitely try these exercises tonight. Good. Uh, Paula Chambers is clapping her hand nice. about the fact <laughs> that a lot of these things is exactly what she thought. Um, we are having some good comments from people, and I like that. Folks, keep, keep it coming. So now, um, if you're doing some, er some exercise, so we can move straight into that now. Yes. Uh, if you're doing some exercise to, to dance, I do. I, I love my e-bike right now. I can't determine exactly what, how much tension I want to go. But for the folks who want to, for example, do um, some of them soca kind of thing, is there any um, risk in them um, starting these kind of exercises? You go to the gym and you see these people doing this cardio and these people are going crazy with it. What would you say, how would you approach it? How would you tell someone to start? Well, I, I'm basing it off myself. Mm -hmm. As stiff as they come, that was me. Still kind of stiff, but I've, I've loosened up somewhat. So when you do those type of moves, it tends to cause you to be loose, which you need to be. You know, so for somebody who wants to start out, I said, just go on, go on out in. You don't have to do the exact move like everybody else. Do it at your own uh, uh, level. You know, but when it, when it comes down to those soca step classes, which I do too, as I said, um, it's more fast paced. So your cardio is going, your, your heart is racing. So if you're not ready for that yet, I'd say don't dive into that. You know, you got to pace yourself. So give yourself time for that. And for those people who think that, hey, let me just go burn calories, burn calories. You can burn all the calories you want and you don't have the, the calorie deficit, deficit or you're eating too much, then as I say, you defeat the whole purpose all over again. So eating, eating, eating is paramount. And we, 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 we all hear about the 80-20 rule. It's 80% how you eat and the 20% is a workout. It's not the opposite or not the other way around. Well, hear me now. Um, people want to talk to us about eating. You can't you must only eat this or you must only eat that. And uh, if you're working out, I would l love to think that you need some kind of uh, calories. You but sure do. Mm -hmm. You do. You do. And the misconception that people have is that, hey, let me not, let me eliminate carbs. And that's a big no-no because you need the carb to fuel your body. Uh, or so, my, I can't say go back to Dunkin' Donuts tomorrow morning. No, 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 no. We're not, talking <laughs> about, we're not talking about those type of carbs. We're not talking about donuts. We're talking about quinoa. We're talking about brown rice, you know, sweet potato. Those are healthy carbs that your body breaks down. It, it takes longer to break down, which is good for your body. And uh, you need protein. And, of course, you need vegetables. So, it's a combination of three. Well, thank you, Maxine. Maxine's our coach by this exercise. I am really enjoying this. And she gave us two thumbs up. <laughs> Maxine does that, you know, and a red fox, I'll be definitely doing these exercises tonight. Good. Uh, Pauline says, uh, Paulette says, good evening. Thanks for these exercises. Hey, listen, why guys, what you doing that? Invite a friend um, because they will be here and they'll be a couple more exercises as we go on. But now, let me ask then, let me talk about some exercises for guys. Like I mentioned to it, is there any difference in how you would coach? And folks, uh, you may not see me if you hear me. She is a certified coach trainer. So, and those are her L's behind her. <laughs> <laughs> My question is, if you, um, what would you coach a middle-aged man? How would you approach a coach, a coaching a middle-aged man that is different from a coaching a middle-aged woman with um, what is called again um, when you ladies get mad and start talk to us with a smile and a knife in your hand <laughs> we call it again 
He just says that all, all the time. time. Eh? All the time. Menopause. Menopause. So forth. Um, how do you? Well, how do would you train them different differently? Well, the guy, of course, he, he's gonna do a little different because he needs. Um, he definitely needs weight to begin with. No matter how small. I, I mentioned the five pounds, but he got the the guy has to start with weight because. The difference between the female and the male is that the man has a testosterone and the female does not. So he does need more work than the female herself. So I would suggest wait for the guy and still ease him into the workout. Because Jimmy is one of them that I, I do train uh, from time to time. And, um, you know, got to ease him in because when he just started, it was, it was a little rough. It was a little rough. And then, as I said, the eating again is paramount because you've got to eat to fuel your body. If you don't fuel your body for the workout, you're going to pass out, you're going to throw up, you're going to be sick, you're going to be pained up, and you're not going to want to do it again. So, um, Is there any truth? Because you laughed when I spoke about it, but, but is there any truth for the my, what my chiropractor said? She said something about exercise. And uh, uh, sorry, I'm back on camera, folks. Kevin decided that I can't stay in the background. But. <laughs> Is there any exercise that um, a man can do to help him with that function that either makes or break him at a certain age? Well, that same move, and, and it goes for Which female. Which is it? Some, the, some people may have forgotten that. What's that? The, the, is the move that the guy does to, to help down there? Uh, the, the, <laughs> <laughs> you are listening then. <laughs> Oh yeah, no, no, no! It's, it's, it's the same. It's a move. There's a there's a machine um, that you can go use at the gym, and you literally it it it, it you widen your legs and it, it it what do you call that? It closes. I've always asked about it. I see that machine yes. and you push and it takes yes. your legs and yes. splits it apart. Yes. What's the purpose of that? It works the inner thighs, and it's a big deal because a lot of well, the woman I I came to understand two years ago, a year and a half ago, it's a big thing to have that gap. In between the legs yes didn't even know about that that was like greek to me i was like what what but it is no so. offense but some guys find it atrocious um, to see a woman chafing from the knee up. well <laughs> i'm just being real i didn't say that I, I i hear the guys with that this is some women walking and it's not even women who are fat they just have that got themselves in a way that they walk and chafe Literally chafe from the knees up. <laughs> and he ain't got nothing. He got bow leg and chase from you. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just being that troublemaker right now. So, yeah. Um, <laughs> um, um, Maxine, leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> I can't know Maxine go and tackle me right away or Red Fox, but go ahead. So, yes, yeah, so that machine, that particle machine, or you can buy something, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, one of those equipment. It, it's, it's actually shaped like uh, the top of a clothespin. Mm -hmm. And you, it ex you, you widen and close your legs, and, and, and you do it. Um, um, it's not a quick thing because when you do it um, too fast, you have to do it. Uh, I say time under tension all the time. You slowly bring it in and pop your leg apart. Or it's either that mach that thing, or you use a, they call it the booty bands. It's a band that you put uh, around it above your knee, and you can do the same move with that at home. So definitely there are, there are some exercises that actually affect, um, put it this way, man or woman function. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. Uh, so now we're going into what now? We're going into these exercises for aerobics? Well, I would do, um, some people, they're concerned, or many people, or everybody literally, they're concerned with their core. And yes. if, if your core is not strong, like Akina with our six pack. If your core is not strong, and Jimmy, if your core is not strong, then you're you're literally you literally weak. Uh, let let, and let your me cut in. I know time is running, but let me cut in because the first time I hear about core as a grown man was when I was probably about uh, 38, going 40, when I had I had to go to workman's comp, and the lady it was stretching me out on a thing and poke poking me, poke poking. <laughs> she says part of my problem is that your core is weak. weak. And I'm like, what the heck is core? What's core for the people who, who probably like me didn't know? Your core is your midsection. It's your midsection. So if governed by which muscles and which um, and which vertebra or well, we, we just let's just say your ab muscles because if I go into all the other muscles, then we're gonna be like, what? So your abdomen, um, and of course, you know, there are three levels to the abs. 
the upper, the middle, the lower. So there are movement that you can do that uh, works the upper, the middle, the lower, and the full ab on a whole. So I'll do two moves that can help to strengthen your core muscles. And one of them, the same push-up that I did, you have to engage your core, your midsection, your abs, to strengthen those muscles. So, and for the folks who got a keg and can and have, <laughs> I'm asking all these questions. For the folks Absolutely. who have a keg and cannot um, find um, the vicinity much more the core, <laughs> <laughs> what would you suggest they do? I would suggest to them, you you know you do have it under there, the, under the layer of fat. We all have the six packs under there. It's just to chip away at those layers to get to the actual core. So a uh, couple moves we can do to help in that area is um, people think that the typical crunch, but most often times you end up hurting your neck. So I wouldn't suggest you, st you start doing that. That's the most ideal move. I suggest full body moves again, and one such one is a plank. And the next move I'm gonna show you is gonna be um, a side tap. So can we all do it? Mm -hmm. The plank, well, let's start with the plank. Not everybody can, um, you, you need to stabilize your, your, your ab muscles or your core. Oh, hold on. T t t talk to me in terms that people can't understand. When you tell a fat guy like me, stabilize my, my, uh, my core. Contract, squeeze your belly in. Thank so, you. So let me, That's let me. what I want. <laughs> but stabilize my core. We're talking about this <laughs> inflation. Stabilize what? <laughs> Yeah, yes. So you Go squeeze ahead. your belly in. That's what it's been to skip. So you squeeze. Yes, yes. You put some tension you on it. You put the tension on it. Thank you, And you, you squeeze it in. While you, so the, the aim is to breathe too, because if your breathing is not up to par, you're literally cutting, you're cutting out the oxygen in your brain, literally, and you'll pass out. So you want to breathe while you do this. I'm going to do it on my, this is more the bridge. This is the easier version. And while you're doing this, you want to make sure that your hip is up. Your hip is up, like Akina. Her is it? Uh, is your hip is up, Jimmy. Your hip is that, up, that, that, Jimmy. You have a hip, Jimmy. Come on, man. <laughs> and uh, you, you. I'm having fun. You breathe. I'm sorry. So, as much as you squeeze your stomach in, you're trying to breathe at the same time, and you start by doing start trying to hold it for 15 seconds, then you graduate to 30. You know, you can go up in increments of five, until you get to a full minute, and then you can add other stuff to this. So that's it, guys. And then, then, then another move, this is called the hip um, toe tap. And it's easier. It's, it's, it's easy for, literally easy for everybody. So because if you have a, let's say you have a stomach in front of you, then it's easy to just tap on your ankle. You're working the side of your abs or your core, and you're working the upper, the lower as well. So you're tapping, literally trying to get to your toes. If you can't get to your toes, you can tap your ankle. And this is a move, you'll feel it, you know, so you still have to breathe. And one, with, one such way to breathe, each time you go on the other side, you let your breath out, you inhale, you exhale, you know, and try to breathe and, and control that breathing. If the breathing is not up to par, then we have a problem as well. So I can show you a third move <laughs> for the abs as well even though we're doing the full body. Um, same on your back. And if you have a stomach in front of you, you still can do it. You're trying to get to the top of your knee. You wanna do that move? You're trying to get to the top. Hold it for a few seconds. Come back down. Top. Release. Crunch up. Release. Breathe. Are you putting some tension on your tummy? Yes, yes. So okay. I'm, you exhale while coming up. You catch your breath going back down. <sighs> exhale coming up, and you find that you go further. Inhale going back. <sighs> exhale coming up. Inhale going back. And you're squeezing your abs at the same time. So it's all a whole movement going on there. But you're tightening and strengthening your core or your abs. So a couple of this, generally I do things for time, and you'll feel the difference. One more. Good you job, all right, guys. Jimmy? Good job. Yep. <laughs> <laughs>
And Excellent. Right. These and are pretty basic moves, you know. You, you graduate to, to heavier, hardcore stuff as you progress. And I guess for all those people who are patiently waiting for a little bit of movement at aerobics, um, my question to you, is it just for the dance of it? Because so I, I, I've seen some of the classes and some people working out and I've watched even your classes and while you there working out, there are some people who are there just kind of a like, um, uh, what should I say now? They're just, like they're, they're, they're the spectators and they're barely moving. Mm -hmm. um, do, is it the dance or the... Or, or the exercise that uh, that is most important or just go out there and do something? Go out there and do something because, yes, the routine is important to be in, in sync with everybody, but do do something because just standing, looking, thinking that you can't catch it, you can't, you can't do it, it's getting you nowhere. So just do it. Just try and catch on and move. And for all the church folks, uh, now again, as a church brother, for all the church folks who are out there, and things dancing the the, the the whatever the songs the that soca you songs. Do, mm -hmm. so soca songs. I am gonna even I'm not even gonna ask you to respond to that because a lot of these hymnals that we are so <laughs> fond of uh, from the 19th and 18th and 20th century were all based on what they call them again tavern songs um, that people used to sing. And people used to, um, and they took the melody of it and put words, you know, and I, I can't remember the songs that come off, but um, some of the songs that we, all, all the, the best of saints, <laughs> <laughs> worship to and feel that they're in a holy place, have come from these songs. So if we're using the beat to make a move, a bust a move, folks, remember the intent, all right? So anytime you're ready, you tell Kevin, him is uh, the DJ for the night. <laughs> so we're gonna do the four moves that we're gonna what, that we spoke about earlier, and I, I'm, I'm sorry, I gotta touch on this a little bit. I know. Kevin, we, you wanna talk. I'm sorry, we talk about the type of music and all that, mm -hmm. and as as church going people, you know, we we look down and frown upon certain stuff. You know, and, and if you remember back in the day with Kirk Franklin, when he came out with Stomp, he got a lot of fight from a lot of people who think that it was too fast-paced and it was too worldly or, you know, that type of a thing. So it's the same thing with workout. Why not? Why you think that when you work out, you have to, um, um, uh, I saw a girl. Uh, I hope it's built <laughs> on exactly. nothing less you have to, you than have Jesus. No, no, sorry. It can't be like that. No, it can't be like that. So you got to you gotta mix it up a little bit. So, yes, we have four moves that we're going to do. It's a little um, heavier or a little bit more advanced. But it's going to be four moves. And, and then after you've done that, I'm going to answer a couple of questions. Uh, Maxine and, and, and Red Fox and a couple of people, I see the questions. And we're going to answer before we close out. All right? I promise you. Let okay, go. so it's going to be four moves. We're going to do seven of each move, but we're just going to just let it roll. I'll, do, I'll show you the first one. Mm -hmm. The first one is a jump squat. The next one is a burpee. Mm. Adva <laughs> uh, and what, what, what is the entry level version of that? <laughs> no, but hold What's on. What's the entry level the, version the, of the, that? The, 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 the. I'll turn it to that, uh, to the burpee. You can still get your little jump going on. And you can come down. Okay, one Come down, yes, time. yes, yes. You can yeah, still do it. That. You can I'm still do it. On the floor, you, know? <laughs> you can still do it. Um, we have push-ups, seven of those. Mm -hmm. And we can do the knees if we can do the We hands. can do the knees, mm -hmm. right? And then we have the plank. This is a full body move. You're touching your shoulder. And pardon me, folks. I'm drinking wine while they're exercising. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we're going to run through all of them, yes. seven of each? Yes. That's it. Mm -hmm. Okay. So ready, Jimmy? Ready. Ready, Akina? Let's go. Straight into the burpees. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
four, five, two more, six, one more, seven. Now we're going straight into push-ups. Seven of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We we'll stay in a plank position. Touch our shoulders. Right to left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's it, one set. That's one set. That's one set. Okay, and that's all one set. Okay, so I'm gonna jump back here and uh, bring back Jimmy and everybody in place. Oh, thank you so, so much. <laughs> I can answer some of these questions and fill up my glass. Jimmy, I didn't touch your glass, just so you know, I just put it over there. <laughs> you know? um, I see the cameras here and catch me in time. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. You catch you doing that? Yeah. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. Um, so we have a couple of questions and very, I consider very pertinent questions um, that people were asking. And let me just bring this laptop closer to me so the old man eyes can see. Um, and let me expand this a bit. That was very good, by the way. Thank you so much. And we are working on, while I try to find the questions, actually, let me do the questions first, and we transition into that. Um, uh, Maxine says, I'm enjoying this. Um, oh, and Red Fox says about women over uh, 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 menopause period, it's, 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 it's our version of Diary of a Mad Black Woman. Oh. <laughs> okay. um, Maxine asks a question. She says, She's obviously, she obviously lifts weights. Do, does she take protein to help build those muscles? I don't really see I love a lot of muscle. I don't, I don't really don't. I'm, I'm, I'm lean, but I'm not muscular. But yes, you, you do need protein. You do need protein. Protein is very important in fueling your muscles. Uh, and when you say protein, are we talking about protein like the protein supplement or we're talking fish and chicken? It's always natural. It's always best to have the fish and the chicken um, and to, in addition to other stuff um, like the protein uh, shakes or powders. So as long as every meal is the minimum 20 grams of protein, you're good. Uh, Primrose, thanks for watching. I appreciate you on the show. Primrose asked a question. How do you avoid neck pain with those last moves? <laughs> I wanted the same thing because jumping up and jumping down and all that kind of thing would certainly give me... And I do have a little bit of issue with my, with my neck. I can't, I can't play with it. How do you manage that? The, the, the four moves, they really don't hurt your neck per se. It's when you're doing more abdominal type moves, like if you're trying to crunch, that's why I say try not to do those moves because you hurt, you do more harm to your neck and your back than anything else. So uh, the move that I showed with tapping the, your, your ankle or your toes, that's easy enough to do. It's not so much uh, strain on your neck, you know, as opposed to having your hand behind your neck and bringing it up. Those moves literally strain your neck. So um, in terms of the burpee, it doesn't necessarily put a strain on your neck. And if you have back issue, there are options to slowly get yourself down and um, ease yourself up into it. You know, as I say, start easy. You know, if your neck, if your neck is going to be hurting too much, then we can move on to other moves. In other words, you're saying as a, a, a safety first, if you feel Absolutely. uncomfortable... And so, so let's clear, clarify this uncomfortable. This is not uncomfortable because you're just downright lazy. <laughs> but uncomfortable that when you make the attempt, um, it just doesn't... Something beyond the ordinary is happening to you. All right? Yes, good, and good, I, good. I, 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 I interject this. I have a client and every move, it's a pain for her. But guess what? It's in her mind. Because when I realize when I say oh try this she said I said but it, it what I told her to try that should hurt the ear that she's complaining about didn't hurt 
I realize it's in her mind. It's if in she, her mind. It's in her mind. She's trying to lift the hand. Oh my gosh, my back, my this, my that, everything hurts. Except the area that should have the tension. Exactly. So it's in the mind sometimes, and sometimes it's really a reality. So we just got to know our bodies and ease ourselves into whatever move we're trying to, mo to make. Well, I, I well add, some people, I wanna... just before, some people were like Red Fox. So the, of course, Red Fox is working, we're working out with you. Red Good. Fox, <laughs> but says Sharon, says, I am so out of breath seeing these burpees. <laughs> Should I just stop and stretch? <laughs> she said, enough, fun. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, now, and, and when you get to a certain age, there's also, the, there's also calcification that goes into the body. And so if you haven't been mobile, so, I, I missed that. Calcification. Oh, calcification. The, yeah, yeah. within the muscles. So you may have tensions or you may have calcification in your joints. Um, and could you just, for, for the rest of us who you have left out in an apartment, <laughs> not for the word, <laughs> that calcification in the muscles, the, could you explain what that is? Yeah, it's deposits. It's literally a deposit of the bones within the muscles. It, it creates, it creates a, a blockage. It could happen. Your, it could happen. Actually, your, your bones actually start what strip? You know, it actually creates like calcification. It it, it creates a a residue, a residue that that strengthens the muscles Iron. within within the, the the bone. So you have you have this pain. So you're gonna get a lot of people that can't raise their arms. Sometimes you have to break the calcification. They, they teach this in in Chinese medicine, which I did way back in mm -hmm. the days. But and so massage is definitely important so when you're at a certain to age mm -hmm. to to especially if you recognize that the area is sore or there's a blockage, you want to be able to massage as much as possible and then get get a chiropractor or someone. I would suggest Chinese medicine that knows how to decalcify. And it's usually motions of exercises that sometimes you just have to do frequently enough so that it'll break and you'll feel it. You'll hear it. Like I used to hear my shoulder go, and so I would I would decalcify as much as I can. And then there's some expert that know exactly what to do. So I highly recommend, you know, to, to look into that if you start feeling pains and tension in some areas that, you know, you normally wouldn't. We are running, uh, yeah, Maxine, yeah, yeah. T tell her to teach Lou some moves so the fat man need exercise. I understand her. Thank you very much. Uh, I know she had to take a blow. But that's all right. I, I, I'll get you. I'll see you next week right here, Maxine. Uh, which reminds me two things real quickly. Um, the... NDTC singers are coming to South Florida for two performances, one in Miami uh, on October 1st and the other one in uh, Miramar uh, on October 7th. Go online, you'll see. But if you want to know more about it, see us next week right here because we have guests from NDTC. We have um, guests from here local, including Maxine, and we'll talk more about that. Um, I haven't listened to, uh, I'm sorry, I guess, guess about burpees, but a different type of burpees <laughs> you're talking about. Um, I haven't spoken about all the exercise and people wanting to do it and so forth. Um, we were toying with folks, and we, uh, we, 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 I, I think we need to be serious about this, that for Thanksgiving, what is 30 days or what is what now? We're right, 60 days from Thanksgiving? Mm -hmm. Is it 60 or 30? We're in September. 60 days from Thanksgiving. We want to start a class here at Moment to Remember Studio twice a week for 60 days. So either 30 days or 60 days. Do we have, uh, tw it's twice a week. It's Monday, it's, we, we were thinking of, well, you would tell us the days that work best for you right. and we'll take a consensus. So over the course of the next 60 days, you're going to be doing twice a week? Yes. yes. Okay. Eight weeks? It's eight weeks over, over 60 days. It's 16 workouts. 16 workouts over, and you can do, so in other words, this doesn't stop you from doing all your other workouts. That's right. Um, and so do me a favor, um, Juliet, tell me what would be included in these workouts. What is included is you'll get a meal plan or a meal guide as to how to uh, adjust your diet. And uh, you, of course, you have accountability. You get the workout. And you'll get uh, the chance to itemize all that you eat to keep a track of your caloric intake. Um, so we, we, we'll cover so much more. You'll get an ebook as to how to change your mindset in terms of how uh, we think when it comes on to the same thing I'm talking to, talking to you about with the, the, the individual. Um, and you'll also get supplements to help you as well. 
just so you know, the supplements, I guarantee that you'll have these supplements between Jimmy and myself. I'm throwing out Jimmy under the bus because we have some amazing <laughs> supplements that we do know that work. And Jimmy has made quite a bit of money and career with himself for out of it because not because he forced these supplements down people's throat, <laughs> but they basically we, t we, we share them and they, they, they work. And so talk about Fatman um, uh, Maxine, I've lost 12 pounds, just so you know. Yeah. All right, so <laughs> I, I, I have lost so, so, uh, 12 pounds and I'm a, I'm a pan size less. So come join us, Maxine. <laughs> That's my one back. But seriously, we want to do this. We want to do this um, probably starting right into October. So you have yes. like a week. A week or Please two. Mm -hmm. inbox us. If you want, can't reach me, how do you reach you, my dear? Well, you can reach me on uh, uh, Instagram, juliet.peterkin. There's a form there that you can fill out so we can get the assessment of any, everybody who wants to uh, join in. And it will, you'll tell us a little bit about yourself, your history, health-wise. So that's juliet.peterkin, J-U-L-I-E-T dot P E T E R K I N. And if you're looking for me on Facebook, I'm there, Juliet Peterkin, as well. Ah, and so, um, understand, folks, I already see some people coming. Red Fox said, Put me on the list. <laughs> uh, and, 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 and somebody says, Oh, that's for real, because him. Uh, like I told him so. He's getting hot in the streets. Thank you, Red Fox. <laughs> yeah, I, and listen, I have some sup we have some supplements here that we're gonna introduce you to. And some of it is free, believe it or not. So um and, and one thing I need to let people know about this this thing, it is not it, it's it's first come, first serve, because the classes are only limited, 10 yes. people, limited to ten people per class. 10 people per class. So we have a class on Tuesday and Wednesday, 10 people, and that's about it. Or back what is that? No, it's not back well, to no, back. We, we're sorry. waiting on the consensus. We're the waiting people. on the consensus, yes. but it will not. Kevin, you're correct. It's not back to back no. days. Please. Monday, Wednesday, or Tuesday, Thursday. Monday and Tuesday, or Monday and Thursday, or Monday and Wednesday, or something like that. But we're not because we want you to get your own lifestyle in. 10 people, inbox me, inbox Juliet. Uh, better yet, inbox um, Jimmy if you want to. Jimmy, how can they reach you? Um, we got the supplements. That's a supplement king right there. Definitely, definitely. Well, when it comes to if there are men that want to build muscle, muscle mass, get leaner, we have we definitely have supplements for that. And for people that want to lose weight as well. But you could find me on Instagram, Jimmy Hepburn, J-I-M-M-Y-H-E-P-B-U-R-N. That's it, just like my name, Jimmy Hepburn on Instagram. Facebook, Mr. M-R, Jimmy Hepburn. And I will be more than happy to help you get you started. Red Fox, oh, you hear that, Kevin, the, the, is the problem. I express that not able to lift his arm. I, I did book him on a, 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 a massage. Awesome. <laughs> Kevin, she said he has a problem. So we, we don't know. Thank you, uh, Red Fox. Hey, listen, folks, we have come to the end of this uh, show. It was late to start and long to go, but we had fun. The greatest part of the show is to have you guys participate and to reflect that you did um, enjoy what we presented. Um, just want you uh, to, to know that there's so much conversation in the chat that I was not able to go through all of it, but Jimmy, um, Juliet, and Akina. Akina will jump on the chat and we'll talk to you more. We'll get some information. But listen, uh, this is a lot. This, this is a lot of expertise here. You see, Juliet, she lived it. She has lost how many pounds? You lost from in one hundred and thirty-two. She has lost one hundred and thirty-two pounds in the process. And look at her. Ain't no plastic surgery. You ain't owing nobody. Nobody calling you about the Tommy Talk car day. <laughs> but Talk car day. The, the you, as some people call it, this was all natural. Um, see us. But as always, on behalf of Akita, uh, Akita, I gotta learn your name before you <laughs> guys because she won't talk. That's the problem. <laughs> on behalf of Akita, 
Jimmy, <laughs> um, Juliet, Kevin, PJ, Kevin Sun Tzu, them jokers couldn't stand up a man a camera for an hour. One is, one is like doing exercise, the other one refused to get up. Young kids, all of them under 17 just crash. This is how old men do it. Thank you. Folks, it, it was my plump, pleasing pleasure to host the show this evening. Until next week, God bless. <laughs>